Hello, everybody. It's been a while. Um, yeah, just wanted to check in with everybody, let everybody know what's the scoop, what's the haps. Also, um, just wanting to check in. It's been a long time since I've made a video, a current one at least. And I uh, wanted to just uh, thank my wife, Blue Augustine. She made me my coffee. Look like at Yeah, boy. Cancer. Yeah, so I'm going to have a little coffee. Okay, so <clears throat> what I wanted to um, talk about was the the Zool pedal. I had some questions about the Zool pedal uh, from people on Messenger. I also had a lot of questions from uh, about the solar guitars and how the solar guitars are. What do I think of them? How, how do I like them? Um, are they balanced? How do they feel? How's the neck? How's the Evertune? I'm also wanting to just play a little, little bit of a song that's gonna be coming out uh, shortly. You know, got the compilation with uh, Dustin Stone. That's done. I'm waiting for Mr. John Bjork to finish his solo in that 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 little that little rendition of a comp. And then I have other comps to work on um, in the world with all of you. Uh, I'm gonna be also um, uh, on my solar. What is different about my solar from the rest of your solar guitars is. My pickups are custom made uh, by Larry Pollock from Aero Instrument. This is Wicked 1 and Wicked 2. These are ebony wood caps on my pickups. And um, this is my awesome Evertune bridge, which I forgot to tag. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is uh, I got my app set up. Um, I didn't even send it out yet. It's going out this week, I promise. Uh, and uh, what I have it set through, my Augustine is going to a THD uh, hot plate, going into uh, instrument tuner for the bypass for the Mike Fortin Zool pedal, which goes into a baby mini green tube screamer, then goes into the amp. And uh, I'll play a little bit, okay? And. Uh <laughs> I forgot to say, you didn't even hear the amp, right? Because the Zool pedal's on the amp, so everything's silent, you know? And, and okay, the questions I had was uh, for solar guitars were, how's the neck feel? I feel that the neck, to me, in my opinion, the one to get blasted, is that it feels like a cross between a Prestige a Wizard 3 neck and an ESP neck all kind of rolled together in one. It's a little more rounder than a Prestige. If you guys wanted to see, you see it? And um, so this is the Prestige on this side, and uh, here's the Solar on the right, the white guitar. And um, it's a little more rounder. It has a nice little little grip on it, you know, so it feels fast still yet. And uh, another question is, with a guitar strap, does it dive down? No, it does not. It is pretty well balanced. The When you have a guitar strap on, it kind of stays around here, which is really cool. And I think it's because where he chose to put the guitar straps, okay? Um, it's not on the tip. And I think it's just more center balance when you carry it from the two points, okay? Another thing, Evertune, how do I like them? Do they change the tone in the guitar sound? Uh, yes and no. I think I believe it gives you more like of a chambered body style sound or a, like a hollow body resonance to it just because of the cavity that's uh, all the wood has gone in. I think it sounds really good. I think it gives it a little different texture in your distortion and your saturation. So, you know, again, my volume's on and the Zool pedal is kicking. <laughs> So, uh, another question, Evertune, um, yeah, the tone, and then another thing on Evertune is, does it stay in tune? Yes, it does. Once you get it set and dialed into what you want it to be, um, as far as string gauge, uh, tension, and tuning, 
I think you can dial it in really well. So um, you just gotta follow the procedures, find zone two, do your tuning, then set it right before zone two and zone three to give you the little squiggly. <laughs> But uh, the thing go cool about Evertune is that if you it doesn't squiggle when you uh, you know you're not in the right zone. Okay, and um, what else? Questions? Questions that I had. Um, what is the quality that uh, solar guitars come with? What do I think the quality is on the guitar? Honestly, I've been in Ibanez my whole life, and honestly, how I feel about the solars is that though it is not made by Japan Luthiers, the quality is very identical to a prestige series Ibanez. Um, maybe talking back in the early 2000s, um, Ibanez Prestige was actually a more high quality built instrument. Um, there was no flaws on the instrument, uh, but some of the I, I bought a couple of Prestiges uh, in the past year, and I noticed a lot of inconsistencies in the build quality, which I never had before in the uh, the 90s and the early 2000s. And damn, I'm showing my age. So uh, back then, when you brought a Prestige, it was perfect out the gate every single time. But um, now. It seems just more like um, just to get it out there anymore, you know. And if you want a high quality instrument now, you got to go into Team JCraft, or you got to go into the um, they have yeah the JCraft series, which is usually for uh, a seven string is about four grand, you know, and a six string is about three thousand dollars or a high two thousand dollar range. But you know, um, for the price, the solar guitars are probably the best deal. You're gonna get on an instrument that has the same quality of a prestige made in Japan by Luthier guitar. So my opinion, uh, Ibanez guys don't hate me. I still love my Ibanez. There's nothing wrong with Ibanez, but for Solar to come out into the market and the world right now, you gotta give them their props, man. Hola, Yahoo! You did it. Um, killer guitar. I still love my white one. I love my artist one. I'm having issues with finding pickups that I want on it and um, I still got my my mahogany one too and honestly Ola it's hard to keep up with you because you build really nice guitars like every three months and it's a new model and it's a new model and it's like man I can't I can't buy five guitars a year Ola you know so I'm waiting for the juicy one to come out and then I'll, I'll grab another one. But um, yeah, enough said. Uh, I was gonna play, I'm using my Augustine signature amp. Again, hello to all, and uh, I'll go through your questions and stuff later at the end of my little tutorial, I guess. So I think I answered all the solar questions for you guys. Um, the Mike Fortin Zool pedal is a must. Um, here's the... You know, you can... So when you cut it out real quick, it disappears, but without the pedal on, you hear the noise of the amp. And then when I hit the Zoe pedal, it all goes away. It's only because of the fact that I'm in my studio, a lot of computers, a lot of other amps plugged into the wall, LED lighting, it's all going to affect your amps. So in this room, my live amps are actually the worst sounding. In the live room, my amp sounds super quiet. They don't make as much noise as it does in this particular room, which is sad because I have to run my cabinets to the live room just to play it without the noise. Or you go buy a Fortin Zool pedal and... <laughs> I mean, you hear that, right? It's silent. And then when I hit it, and it's gone. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna play a little doohickey and then I will look at some of the questions and then I will sign off. But just wanted to say hi. I wanna come back soon. Um, got a lot of stuff in the works. Got uh, a lot of cool stuff coming. So here we go. What are we gonna do? Okay, so. Sorry, not warmed up for
for that song. But, I mean, it's mistakes and all, so I'm being real here. <laughs> Yeah, that was Ron Wiggling with Mistakes. So, uh, that song is called Ivory Towers, and that one will only have to track the bass. That is from actually the Metatron album that I've been trying to release for last year. Okay, and uh, another quick thing. It's hot because I shut off the air conditioning, so you guys won't hear the, the AC noise. Um, so, uh, I don't know what else uh, to talk about, but just wanted to say hello, everyone. Um, support. You know, um, again, my amp is uh, built custom for me by Mr. Ben Varellen himself. It is going back in for all the tweaks that I wanted to do on it. I said about three months ago, but work is nuts. Me and Blue just finished a massive, massive commercial project. We do photovoltaic. We put panels on the roof so you don't pay electricity. And me and my honey did 520 panels. They're about 63 pounds a panel. So me and her all alone basically did a football field of panels for a really good uh, company, which is Hawaii's TV station called Naleo TV. And uh, what else can I say? What else can I say? Um, yeah, so just wanted to say hi and uh, answer some of the questions that I've been getting for uh, the past couple of months. Um, and what else what else I think that's it so thank you guys for tuning in to the the channel and I will post this and all that good stuff but um, what, else, what else can I do what else can I do okay so like um, tonality and stuff real quick you know so You know, a good pickup, a good amp, you should be able to kind of hear all the notes when you strum, you know? <laughs> questions message me on Facebook or YouTube or whatever uh, support independent artists I uh, also want to congratulate Daryl V for getting in the solar family which is cool got a lot of solar family out there you know Philip Bardman uh, which is an artist Daryl V Rex Browns Briones and uh, Ola England and all John Bjork and um, all of you that play solar guitars you know you are a part of the family and just want to keep it real so let me go just run through your questions real quick try and answer them on video so I I can just kind of reach everybody's questions one time and let's see let's see let's see um, 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 um. okay bring them on camera no smiles smiles Aloha brother shredder Zach Peterson hey Zach what's up man this guy, Zach Peterson, is a phenomenal guitar player. He, I don't know if he still has, but he has a, a shop called Hotlick Guitars, 
with cool vintage Les Pauls and amps, and he has a Mark III Coliseum, which I wanted to buy. But uh, yeah, right on, Zach. What's up, Shredder? You the Shredder, man? I'm just a rhythm guitar player. JR, what's up? Thumbs up. Um, Nick, what's up, man? And um, uh, goddamn that amp is sexy. Carrie West, what's up, Carrie? Thank you. I love it. It's a core faceplate in the front with a little black mirror going on for the Augustine. And I believe the sides and the, the, the cabinet is out of oak. All right. And it is stained black. Ciao, Mario and Sano. Ciao. Aloha. All right. Okay. Uh, Kevin Lumez. What's up, Kevin? He used to be our bouncer security guard for our Augustine shows because... Um, we used to get rowdy rowdy in Hawaii and we used to have all the scraps with the, the security guards wanted to beat up all the fans and you know honestly that's what happened to the the scene in uh, in Hawaii uh, funny little short story is that um, we had the metal scene going it was building it up it's getting bigger and huge and then you know what the venue's security guards wanted to make all oh, mana out and get all like oh no they cannot slam dance and they cannot mosh and they started beating up our peoples you started headbanging or bumping into each other. People was getting knocked out. They was getting punched in the face. They was getting choked out. Body slammed. And it was like, we're just trying to do a show. This is the happy, happy venue. Um, and honestly, in Hawaii, metal shows, we never had any scraps. No fighting. Scrap, you know, scrap. Um, reggae shows, Hawaiian shows, Hawaiian shows. Yeah, all the drunk brothers, all the mocks out there, they drink too many beers, can't I handle the alcohol, and they like, scrap everybody! Funny! The mellow, irate, gyre music is the ones causing all the beefs, but the heavy metal guys know what it's about. You know what I mean? So, that was too bad, so that's why the scene is poop. And also, um, the politics in the bands is poop. Uh, you know, you got all these bands, and they're all fighting, and all, it's, we call it crabs in a bucket. So when you see one trying to rise, the other ones pull you down. I'm pretty sure that's pretty standard everywhere in the world because one, jealousy. Uh, two, um, people just don't want to see other people shine, you know, and that's too bad. But you know what? I'm good with that. I'm just going to keep making videos until the scene builds up again. Um, the last big show that came to Hawaii was my, uh, Testament. And um, that was probably the last big metal show that ever hit the islands. And we played it. Yeah. So, enough said. Uh, what else? Let me see. Kevin Loomis. Yeah. Dustin Stone. What's up, buddy? Sorry. Compilation. I'm mixing it down. Daryl V. Oh, you are welcome. Mahalo, my brother. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Carlene. Hey, sis. My sister Carlene over there saying hello. Um, Stephanie Warlin. I want this sound on a key. Oh, I do have this on my Kemper, but it's of this version of the amp where there is things on the amp that I haven't done and corrected and fixed um, before I actually do uh, real Kemper profiles on it and probably per sell it because there's no amp like this on the world. And I took three of my favorite amps, which is a Mar uh, the Mesa Boogie Mark III, the Rivera 1991 TBR, and the Marshall. Um, the TSL and I kind of crammed them all together the features and the options that I wanted from all the amps I trying to design into one amp so that those profiles when I get this back will probably be for sale um, and but this version of it I might be willing to just email it to people I'm not sure yet I'm thinking about it I just I know there's things that can be corrected on it and I don't want a bad impression off the back with people on the profiles. so I'll think about that one what else? Rex, what's up? Good stuff. Yes, good stuff, good stuff. And um, Mark Sweeney, what's up, brother? Yeah, so what's up, Mark? Um, I also am endorsed with Sweeney Guitars. I got to put all these plugs in there, but I keep uh, you know, forgetting. Uh, he is building me t currently two electric guitars and a bass, a three-quarter scale bass for blue. And... Um, this guy I yeah man um, so uh, yeah Mark thank you Mark also makes crazy picks we still gotta dial in mine um, perfectly I I have the shape I just need something that can withstand the heat and the melting and the shredding of the shredding you know the shredding let me see I think.
to play a little bit. Um, he the best. You the best. Keep on, brother. Yep. Yep. So, um, yeah, just wanted to take this time out. Me and Blue are off today. We are kind of healing our body from the jobs that we did and trying to recover. But, you know, got to have fun. So, I will uh, see if there's any more questions. Okay, that's about it, I guess, for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Wanted to say a special thank you to the companies and the endorsements that, that support me. This this guy in Hawaii, out of nowhere, out of the littlest, littlest islands in the world, um, that has support from some of the biggest companies in the world, which is so awesome. Wanna say thank you to Mesa Boogie. You know, um, don't want to say his name, but just, you know, I don't want people bugging him on Facebook. Thank you for Blue and I's endorsement with Mesa Boogie. A very proud, very honorable. Me building my custom amp is just for me, but the gut root that came from the source of what I wanted actually was a Mark, Mark III um, Black Stripe modded. Yes. I uh, wanted to say thank you to Ola England for the guitar endorsement. These are all dream endorsements, you know? And to be recognized in the world by everyone in the world is very nice so I want to say thank you Ola uh, for my solar guitar endorsements uh, and it's an honor it's a privilege I love the guitars but you make too many cool models can't buy them all so um, I'm waiting for the special one that you build for me all ebony the whole guitar weighs a hundred pounds no I uh, wanted to say thank you to uh, Mark Sweeney from Sweeney Guitars um, I think it's S-U-I-B-H-N-E guitars hopefully I spelled it right and plectrums he makes picks as well for my endorsements with him as well I uh, want to say thank you to skull strings uh, they're from France um, uh, Ola's in Sweden um, want to say thank you to skull strings Carlos Pavinci and Gwen uh, for my endorsements with them what else what else um, I don't know I think I'm forgetting some stuff but you know um, uh, uh, Aero Instrument, Larry Pollock for all my guitar pickups and um, my instrument cables, the D-Buzz which is a cool thing that doesn't make it uh, hum also, 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 also all of you guys on Facebook and YouTube and uh, keep asking the questions, I'll try and get around to it but there is going to be a nice music block that opens up where I can start getting some stuff done in the studio start putting out some songs for you guys, some mixed mastered songs uh, I'm showing you guys how to, I create songs doing some playthrough videos doing <laughs> I was gonna start playing like uh, the Augustine's first song you know which was uh, I was gonna probably go through every song that Augustine did and just do a guitar playthrough and even do maybe a guitar tutorial um, some people that either want to try and uh, learn how I do the songs correctly and um, the next one would be no go mix lol get it boy <laughs> I know I gotta mix Dustin I'm waiting I'm waiting for John Bjork solo and um, you know a lot of what I do rhythmically I'm not a lead guitar player guys get used to it get real Okay. Uh, I'm a rhythm guitar player. Um, I let other people do the lead stuff because that's what they're good at. I like to create rhythm, groove, heavy riffs, and fast technical stuff. Um, uh, Augustine's riffs are basically uh, everything kind of comes from your ring finger being your strongest finger. So you can go go back. You know, just fingers, you know? And all of them get really good, but a lot of it is uh, ring and pinky. You want those strong, okay? So work on your weak fingers. But yeah, I might do some kind of video like that as well. But thank you guys for taking your time. Uh, 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 uh. Just feel like I'm forgetting some endorsement people. I'm very sorry uh, for forgot. But um, thank you guys. Ciao, Bella. Awesome. I'm out. Where's the button? Where's the finish button? I'm gonna see you guys later. Where? Oh.